Hi, my name is Rod Sanchez, owner and lead trainer of, of Applied First Aid. My background is in nursing initially and then transferring into traditional Chinese medicine or acupuncture. I've been a first aid trainer for the past 11 years. During this time, I've trained many different organizations from surf life saving, personal trainers, massage therapists, medical doctors, and even preschool teachers. During our training, we cover a lot of different topics, covering CPR, bleeding and circulation, bites and marine stingers, burns, and emergency medical conditions such as anaphylaxis, diabetes, cardiac arrests, asthma, and choking, just to name a few. First aid can be a, a life-saving and a life-changing aspects. Being able to assist someone when they're bleeding, assist somebody when they're having an anaphylactic reaction, being able to, to do something in that time of need. So the reason why we learn first aid is to, to save someone's life, to be educated or to be knowledgeable enough to, to put those into action. During our CPR training, we cover different aspects of it. So following the anagram of doctors A, B, C, D. So your dangers of response, send for help, airways, breathing, and defibrillation. In this, we'll look at adults, children, and babies at the same time. We would look at aspects of how to use a defibrillator, when to use a defibrillator. We'll be covering uh, legalities. We'll also be covering the doctors A, B, C, D aspects where we will be looking at you know, different dangers to oneself, to others, and to the clients. We'll be looking at response, how to make sure that the person is responsive or non-responsive, the best way to communicate or send for help. Uh, we'll look at airways, how to look and clear an open air or an airway that is blocked. Breathing, how to look for that breathing aspects and see if they're breathing or not. If they're not breathing, the best way to do compressions on one's chest, following the 30 compressions to two aspects, two breaths, and then defibrillator. Uh, what is a defibrillator, how to use a defibrillator, and when to use a defibrillator. Within our medical emergencies, we'll be looking at aspects of anaphylaxis and how to use an EpiPen correctly. We'll also be looking at uh, hypoglycemia, um, how to notice if somebody's having a hypoglycemic attack, cardiac arrest, the signs and symptoms associated with the cardiac arrest, asthma, and how to use the 4x4x4 method, and choking, how best to assist somebody with a choke, with choking um, from being a small child to an adult. In your training, we'll be looking at different types of bleeding, cuts, abrasions, and what, whatnot. In the last few years, the use of tourniquets has come into play again. So we'll be teaching you all the different types of tourniquets and how to apply these tourniquets for best results. Within the bites and stings topic, we'll be looking at the differentiation between snake bites, spider bites, and marine stingers, and how to deal with these different types. We may be applying pressure, pressure immobilization techniques, we may be using vinegar, we may be using hot water or cold water, and we'll learn the differences between all those in the best way possible. We pride ourselves on being a very practically based training organization, but there is also online aspects that we have to follow. So prior to coming into class, you'll be emailed a link to do an online aspect. So there'll be videos, questions, charts, um, very in intensive but very easy to follow online training. At the end of our practical day, there'll be some paperwork that we need to follow. This paperwork will include some examinations of information which has been covered both on the online and the practical. Plus, we'll be doing some debriefing. We'll also be doing some uh, incident reports. So during the many different training organizations that I've helped, um, there's been so many successful aspects to it where students have come back and told me their stories, how the training that was, that was given had been able to help their mother, father, uh, or a loved one. Some examples can be where there's been a marine stinger, uh, there's been cardiac arrests, there's been strokes, um, there's been uh, 
uh, issues of people, their hearts stop beating and they've applied first aid or CPR and were able to get a successful result.